Hey guys, so I wanted to jump on today and do my, what is it, June favorites. And I know you guys haven't seen me in a while because I've just been doing nail videos. So I hope you guys enjoy this and, oh, on my nails, um, I have, what is this, OPI, I want to be a lone star. Is that what it is? Yes. And over that, I have... The Sally Hansen Crackle Glaze, and this one is in Distress Denim. And then on my lips, I have Rimmel Easton Snob as a liner and filled in. And then I have the Elf, I think this is from the Mineral line. It's the Natural Nymph Lipstick, which I absolutely love. And in, just in the middle, I have... The Urban Decay Pocket Rocket in Julio, which is just the clear with sparkle. And can we just talk about how inappropriate this packaging is? Like, seriously. First is called Pocket Rocket, which, whatever, you know. I really don't care. But, first of all, okay, he's clothed and he's holding a baby. And you're like, oh, that's so cute. But then he's naked and holding, well, not naked, but half dressed and holding a baby. And I think that it's so strange and inappropriate. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. Whatever. Let's get started with the favorites. So first, this is a foundation that everyone wanted me to try and review. And I bought it. And when I put it on my face, it was like I had took cake batter and like slapped it right on my freaking face. Like so cakey. So disgusting. I hated it so, so much. And someone said, well, maybe you're using too much or this and that. No, I've tried using even less another time and even less and even less. And it was still horrible, horrible, horrible every time. So what I'm talking about is, I know this is a much less foundation, but I just really don't like it by itself. It's the Revlon Color Stay, and I got it in the color 1... 110 Ivory, that was for when I was not self-tanning and so on and so forth. So what I have been doing since it's been warmer is taking, <clears throat> a little hoarse if you can't tell, taking my Equate UV Moisturizer for sensitive skin. This is the moisturizer I was using in the winter and, or maybe it was last summer, I don't know, I don't know. I use the Clinique, dramatically different now. But I take this and I mix this with it and that's what I wear for like every day just light coverage as a tint of moisturizer. I make my own. I don't see a point in paying a company to give me something that I can make myself. So I have been loving that but like I said the color stay alone is a no-no. My next favorite is this by e.l.f. And it is the e.l.f. Minty Lip Gloss. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I love anything minty on my lips. Like, to me, that's just like, oh, like the heaven gates open. And I just love it. I love, 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 love it. I die for it. So this one is in Nashville. And it's just like their nudie color. And it just feels so amazing when you put it on your lips. And it really doesn't have any pigmentation at all. It just looks clear, really. So I have been love, love, loving that. And I just ordered more because they had a 50% off sale. Next, I have been loving the Garnier Nutritionist, Nutritionist Anti-Dark Circle Roller. So when I first tried this, this is another thing that I use with my tinted moisturizer that I concoct up. Um, but this, when I first bought it and I roll it under my eyes and I started to, you know, dab it in, I was like, what the hell? Because it wasn't giving any pigmentation off at all. So what I have noticed is if you roll it and then you go do something else, maybe like put your lip moisturizer on, uh, then you come back to it, let it sit for a few seconds then you get the pigmentation. See, I'll demonstrate it for you. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. So here it is rolled on. 
this is just right away if you blend it in as you can see you're not getting much pigmentation there at all stop doing that it's always trying to eat a Pringles can down here so you're not getting much pigmentation at all when you first blend it out now I'm gonna let that sit while I talk about the next thing next is the Carmex Moisture Plus and this is a lip conditioner and it looks like this and I love this again just every day to slap on and give me a little bit of color and a little bit of moisture at the same time so I'm gonna put this right beside the Nashville and it's very very moisturizing so it's right there so not too much pigmentation but just enough kinda gives you that just bitten look now I'm going to blend in this Garnet Fruities stuff. So as you can see, well you probably can't see, but you get more pigment if you let it sit and kind of dry and get a little bit tacky. So I do like this, but like I said, you have to use it the correct way. And next, I only have a few more loves actually. Well, we're going to call it Faves and Fails. That's what we're going to call it every month now. <clears throat> so, Next is this Cream Blush by NYX. And some people say NYX, some people say NYX. I got this off of beautybridge.com. Love, love that site. I got so much stuff for so inexpensive. So this one is in 02 Natural. Natural. And I use it with a stippling brush. That's why it looks all beat up. <clears throat> I really don't know what's wrong with my throat. But it looks like this, and when you blend it in, it looks like that. So it's just a very natural, pretty color. And what I like to do with the cream blush in the summertime is if I'm just going, you know, if I'm just going to be going around the house, whatever, then I'll just put the cream blush on over my tinted moisturizer. And that's it but if I'm doing if I'm going out or something I'll put the cream blush on I'll powder and then I'll put a powder brush powder yeah yeah powder 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 I'll put a powder blush over it just to kind of lock in that color in case my face starts to melt off so been loving that and then last for my loves is this elf complexion perfection and it's not, I have so much makeup that it's not very often that I hit pan on something. And as you can see, I have hit pan on this sucker. So, again, when they had their 50% off sale, I ordered three more. Because, I don't know what it is about this. It does not look chalky on me whatsoever. Even when I fake tan. Uh, I just love it. It mattifies any shine and I've been using it just at home so the reason that I bought three more is so that I could keep one in my purse because I I don't think I can live without this anymore it has completely replaced my MSF well sometimes I use the MSF okay sometimes but <clears throat> I reach for this over anything any kind of powder and I absolutely love it so that is it for my faves um, next is going to be fails. Again, I know that oh, this is a fave foundation for a lot of people, but I freaking hate it. And I'm going to tell you why. It is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish, and I got it in 100 Ivory. First of all, I bought this back in the wintertime, and when I bought it, it was so, so dark for my skin. Like, this is the Grevlon Ivory, and this is the Rimmel Ivory. Like, you can see that, right? It's like, this is like more of what I would call a beige. The Rimmel. So, I don't know. My problem with this foundation is when I put it on my face. When I put it on my face. When I put it on my face and I go to blend it. If you guys have ever used the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask, which I have said in the past I love. And let me grab it. This is it. The Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. And this is a new one because I love this so much. I use it twice a week. If you've ever used this and you know that toothpaste feeling to where like you go to rub and like it kind of... You feel resistance. That's what I get with this foundation. 
and like I said, I know a lot of people talk about this and love it. Um, one of the bigger gurus on here, I hate that freaking word guru, by the way. I think it's ridiculous and stupid. But one of the, one of the you know, more popular people on here, Emily Noel, talks about how much she loves this. And I mean, maybe it's my skin type. Maybe I'm not applying it right, but I've tried with a brush. I've tried with my hands. I've tried, <clears throat> I've tried um, emulsifying it and then rubbing it in. Everything that I do, this foundation is freaking horrible for me. I hate it. And I might just throw it away. So next is this. Now, I thought I was really going to like this. Because you guys know that I like the plastic wand mascaras or the <clears throat> silicone wands or whatever they're called. And this one has one like the CoverGirl Lash Blast. So I was expecting to love this mascara. But when I put this on my lashes, and my lashes are extremely long as it is. And I do plan on doing a video to show you guys how I get them long, how I keep them long, blah, blah, blah. But when I put that mascara on my lashes nothing like they look blacker and they look maybe a little bit lifted but as far as like volume separation anything like that that mascara sucks and I mean I, I didn't pay very much for it because I got it with a 50% off coupon but I'm glad I didn't pay a lot for it because I hate this mascara I will still use it on days that I'm not going anywhere just because I really don't even need makeup, but I do it anyway so that I don't scare the hell out of my husband. But that is it. But, 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 I do want to mention, probably not the next video because my next one will be a Birchbox video. It might be in that video, but probably the video after that, you will not be seeing this hair anymore. Um, at least not for a while. I am so tired of messing with it and it giving me so much grief that I'm going to just get long, luscious locks. So, if you guys see me with really long hair or straight hair, that is why. Can you look at the camera? Can you say hi to the YouTube? Can you show them your nails? No, you're mad about him. <laughs>